one owner car guy and what I got here today is kind of an update video I guess you'd say. Um, if you've been following my channel much you know about a year and two months ago or so I rented a huge lot down here in El Cajon. Big indoor place with all kinds of cool checkered tile floor and all this stuff. It's a beautiful place. It's nice. But the truth of the matter is, is I don't sell cars here and I don't sell cars. I, I export them and I ship them out of the country and out of state and it's just not really all that useful for me to have the big nice showroom with all this stuff. There's Breeder and it's useful to have her, huh, BeaglesPocket.com for all your unique little Beagle puppies. Yeah, they're just so cute. Um, but clearance, I guess you'd say, and kind of an update. Basically, I'm getting rid of as many of them as I can in the next six weeks. I hate when doors are partially open um, to where I don't have to pay to move them. Um, I've got a new place I'm renting and basically what I've came up with is more space for less money um, and a different type of deal. I do a different type of deal and the cars in here are not subjective and basically they're not what my entire inventory consists of. Um, you've seen my walk arounds and such and I'm going to give you a walk around in this. Uh, but basically kind of a once around type thing here. I can't even get out my own door. Um, I'm sick of it. I'm sick and tired of it. I'm sick and tired of all the problems. I'm sick and tired of all the mistakes. I'm sick of the employee vendor and just everything. It grinds on me. I am sick and freaking tired of it. I don't get a time to do anything I want. I carry around three phones, answer the phones, type on the computer answering emails all day long. I don't get to work on any cars anymore. I don't get to do the things that I truly want to do. And in not getting to do the things that I truly want to get to do, I'm getting a little sick of it. I'm working 19 to 20 hours a day. Um, it sounds like a lot, but it is. And I'm sick of it. And I'm not sick of the hours. I've worked 18 hours all my life. Um, everything I do all day long, seven days a week. It's what you got to do to get ahead, I think. Um, but <laughs> the same grind here with these cars. They're great. I absolutely love these cars. But at the same time, I've got all the overhead to try and be on a big lot. And I don't have the sharks to go out and just kill it and sell it to these people. You, you got to buy this car today and that kind of... I'm not like that. Uh, my stuff is around. It's worth what it's worth. It's going up in value. And I'm not really concerned about selling it today to you. Um, but all kinds of cool cars up here. And I'm just going to kind of do a walk around and kind of give you some minimum values today of what I'll take for them. Okay, this is kind of an intro video to what we're going to do. And that's that. I will start over here. And I don't know how far I'm going to get. I've got a couple people coming by I need to meet. Um, but I'm just going to give out some prices and tell you about the car. There's a full review on my channel of that little 75, 76, 300D. Um, I just put it on eBay. I take 1650 bucks. The Mustang is sold. The Sebring LXI is a one owner, like 82,000 miles or so. I'll take $1,800. Smoking deal. This is sold. This little Civic, I haven't done a video of. There's not a full review. There is a full review of both of them, though, on my channel. This one here is a nice, running, good little 81 Honda Civic. Um, the interior is what was kind of rough in it. Probably either redo it or just drive it like it is. Nice, tight little car. Not all rusty or nothing. Still got the factory flaps. I believe it was a one or two owner. Um... Get this thing out of here, 1200 bucks. Um, V12 SL600. Runs a little rough. Um, don't feel like it's all there. Maybe needs a um, coil or something. Um, 39,683 on the mileage. Um, got a tear in the seat. It's not perfect and I don't have a full review of it, but um, five grand. Get it out of here. And you won't hear these kind of prices anymore. Um, I'm pretty sure that's sold, so I'm not even going to give you a price on it. Um, full review on this one coming up. I don't have it up yet, so you'll have to check my channel and keep track. The Le Mans Safari Wagon. I really hate to part it out. I really hate to take it apart. Full review on my channel. Le Mans Safari. Very rare car. Very cool car. <laughs> Sweet. I love the coloring. Door panels are great, just the seats are a little 
tore. And you can see the front ones are tore a little bit more. Drivers. But it's all here and it's tight. Um, dash is cracked. Full review. I like got a four minute review on my channel. Um, get this one out of here. Um, Eleven hundred fifty bucks. I hate to be the one to part it out. Very low mile. It's just set over here. I took a deposit. Some of these things I'll take like a two three dollar deposit and I'll hold it. And then they say you know like four weeks and then two months later they're still giving me excuses. Forty thousand original miles. It's a great running car and I will sell this thing. I just want it off here. If you found this and you got this price, um, great. My bottom dollar on this car, I'll take 2950 bucks. It is a great runner, and it is a great deal for that. This one, um, I haven't done any reviews of. It's got like 25,000 original miles. It's from Beverly Hills. It's an LSC. Um, it's beautiful inside. Beautiful. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet, and actually I put a fuel pump on it and got her running. Yeah, Beverly Hills is where it was sold. Got all kinds of paperwork and stuff. The clear coat's all uh, faded. If you're interested in this one, talk to me. I will sell it. Uh, the Windstar government van. I did a bunch of these a while back. And this one here, cash money, green dollar bill. See the full review on my channel. Um, 50,000 original miles on it. Um, call me up, get this thing from me. Um, if it's out of California, and all these, out of California on these cheap ones, um, I don't want to pay the extra stuff and you don't either 1500 bucks for that van 1500 bucks um, The 280 get it out of here, man. I'll sell it cheap this one here. It's in great shape full review on my channel just did it um, Interior is just beautiful everything on the car is beautiful uh, 280 SEL and on this one cash money green dollar bills uh, 1950 bucks. The Bonneville. There is a review on my channel and everything. Um, on this one, it's a Bonneville Brome. I'm looking at just taking parts off of it. The rocker panels are worth big money. Um, if you want it, if you don't want me to take parts off of it, without the rocker panels, I'll sell the car for... Actually, just take it the way it is, get it out of here. Um, $695. I will not sell this car in California. Will not. I don't want to pay anything extra. I don't want to do that thing. Um, Starfire. Starfire. I don't know. I'd have to look this one up. It's kind of one of my f personal pet peeves that I just like. Uh, manual Borg Warner 5 speed tranny. 3800 motor. Cool cars. And I will sell it. I just got to figure out how much. Um, Corvette with the gaudy wheels. Um, I'd have to look this one up too but it is for sale, and I will do another walk around here once I get half the stuff moved out. Big ol' LTD, full review on my channel. Get this thing out of here. I mean, look at them wheels, beautiful. Got all kinds of rubber on it, all nice and just, it's a clean car. Um, get this thing out of here. I'll take um, 1350. Cavalier, really clean, full review on my channel. Check it out, uh, good low mile economy car. Um, get it out of here. I've never advertised this car. I just bought it because it was a clean little good runner. I bought it for a girl that needed a car. Next thing you know, um, she didn't like the car. She wants something around. Well, don't you have a Honda? Well, no. In fact, we'll see you later. Um, so this one here, cash money, green dollar bills, um, $1,350. Bucks. Out of state, out of state. Sold, going to Australia. Um, little Mercedes here. I'd have to look that one up, but it is for sale. Little Porsche 944 I got in. Um, I might have shown it in another walk around video. I got a top for it, but it's a little bit different color. Uh, it's in good shape. Low owner. And I know on this one, I don't have a full review of. It's got a crunch here or there. That was the here and the there. It's pretty clean besides that. Um, I got a black one too. And it's manuals, both of them. Cheap, just cheap, just put it that way. I don't think I've got that sold yet. I've got two people hot to trot on it. Full review on my channel of the LTD. Um, I've told them 3,500 bucks. If you want it, 3,500 bucks is all yours. 429, Dodge Ram Stretch Cab. Cannot believe that I haven't got rid of this. Cannot believe I'm asking so cheap for it. YouTube special, $39.99. It's all yours. Check out the full review. Um, 
135 on this bad boy or 35? I'm gonna guess 135. Um, someone broke the window out. It's not perfect inside. One of the first um, nav systems ever. Um, I'm just selling this thing cheap. It's kind of almost, it's, it's straight, it's clean, it's one owner. But it needs seat work is the main thing. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. We'll see. I will sell it cheap. Um, I've got another one for about, I take 2,900 bucks on the blue one on my channel. I don't have a full review of this one, but on this one here, you can have it for um, uh, 950. Going out of state, gone. I don't want to take it apart. This one here, if you actually wanted it, it runs and drives great. A little rough here and there. Full review on my channel. Um, you can have this one for, get it out of here. Get it out of here for 850 bucks. And you better do it quick because there's so much money in parts on this that I'm gonna start taking it apart pretty quick. Nova Concours, super low miles. I do believe the miles are 7,000 or something, original miles. Um, I got 280 cars and I lose track. Yeah, I really believe that it could be seven. Um, it could be 107. As you know, it goes with these five digit type things, but I really do believe it. Look at that, everything works. Beautiful car. 3,800 bucks. What a deal. What a deal. Convertible Olds. Did that thing with a deposit on this twice. Little old guy in Florida. I got a lot of them and I just think they kind of cork. I think they die before they get to buy them. Um, beautiful car, 36,000 original miles. Runs and drives great. It's here because I'm gonna start driving it. A couple little things there. 36,000 original. And on this one, um, 4,500 bucks. You can't get a deal like that. Uh, well, I'm gonna show the downstairs around here. Um, I'm gonna actually clip in another part here and we'll do it that way. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, StockGambles.com, and BeaglesPocket.com if you want a loyal little hound that's gonna just watch everything you do. Breeder! Well, that's what you need. You need a miniature pocket beagle. Uh, and that's that. So, let's go check out the bottom here. Well, to show you a couple of these, I got this here 77 Bronco. It's really clean. It's not rusty or anything. Um, I'm probably going to take it and paint it as such, but it is for sale. And you're more than welcome to call on it. Uh, it's a 77. Last year of that model. Super cool car. S600. That one will be coming up. I put a new wiring harness. And I'll sell this and I'll make you a great deal on it. It's clean in and out. Haven't detailed it or anything like that yet. But nice car. This one we're taking apart and we'll go to the junkyard. This one over here. Make you a great deal on. Um, they smacked that wheel in that side right there at the auction. And it's a manual. Really low miles. And seriously, really low miles. And it checks out and everything. Super clean, except for the middle of the seats there. Um, and it's a manual. And I will sell this cheap. Um, I'm thinking. I'll take, um, oh God, give me 1300 bucks. And this is out of state, all that kind of stuff. Um, BMW here is not an M series, although it's got the sticker. Get it before I part it. That's what I'm going to say on this one. Get it before I part it. On this one, I'll take um, $1,000. And it's got all the books. Or it's actually got the. Um, the. Um, tapes on this one, and the radio code and all, pretty cool stuff, well maintained, nice wood, nice dash, um, I was going to take the ignition out, but now I'm not going to, um, 300 SE, this is a super low mile W126 in a Euro model, got a little problem with the injector system, um, 81,000 original miles, super, super clean, 
and I have the door panels off because I was going to steal the window motors out of them and I didn't. So I can put that back together and they're in great shape. Um, faded on the clear coat. And I was just considering whether or not to paint this one. Um, wire wheels. And for this one, um, I haven't said much about what I'd take for it. I am a little partial to it because it is a sweet car. Shines up nice, but it's got that clear coat problem. Um, give me 2,500 bucks. Euro model W126 and the 300 SE. Super cool, super nice little car. Bonneville, full review on my channel on this one. Supercharged SSE. Nice wheels and tires on it were just added. And full review on my channel on this one. Get it off my lot, 750 bucks. Just get it out of here. It leaks tranny fluid. And that's the only problem I know of with it. Snowmobiles, brown ones sold. I do have that one and the trailer for sale. I'll sell it cheap if someone wants like 750 miles on it. Don't have a full review of this one yet. It's coming up and I'll be putting hubcaps on it. Um, this is a super nice little Malibu. It is for sale. Just haven't got the review yet. I'm gonna be waiting for my hubcaps. Um, 60,000 original miles Seville. Injector problems. I'm gonna replace a couple injectors. Same thing on that one. Um, the Seville, two grand. Get it now before I do anything. This, um, it's got 60,000 on it. Super low also. Um, it buffs out nice. It's just set here. I'll take 800 bucks for it. Get it off my lot. One owner Grand Cherokee Laredo. Low mile, 97,000 miles. It's one or two owner. It's a nice truck. It's got a dent in the hood, faded bumpers. That's about the worst I can say about it. And clear coat fade on the roof and top, like they get. Sides are nice. And it's a clean little truck with 97 on it. One or two owner. And. Get it off my lot. Um, 1900 bucks. Seville. I've got a couple of them. Um, this one here. This one I can sell in California, actually. It costs you an extra a couple hundred bucks. Um, this one here. I want to get it out of the state. I don't want to be the one taking it apart. God, the hubcaps are expensive, everything. Um, get it out of here before I part it out. You can have it for a grand. Runs and drives. All that good stuff. Um, same thing on the GTA. Get it out of here before I take it apart. You can have it for a grand. That's not even worth buying over there. This is sold. This is sold. Um, the Porsche, full review on my channel on this 928. The maroon one's sold. Um, this one you can have. Get it out of here. 5,300 bucks. Great deal. One or two owner. This W126, I keep talking about replacing the windshield. My people can't remember. It's stuck over here in the corner. Beautiful blood red interior. One owner, 123? Yeah, 123. Look at this. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, and I'll sell this. I had to look it up. Actually, I want to drive this. CRX, 83,000 original one owner miles. Um, missing a lens, got a dent here or there. A little bit of fading on it. There's your dent. Dent scratch. Um, runs and drives great. Manual, super high gas mileage on these little cars. Get this thing out of here. 83,000 original miles, 1,500 bucks. I just want it gone. Um, 635 or 633. Coupe runs good. Um, I was gonna repaint it, I haven't got around to it. Um, I don't wanna part it, the seats are beautiful. It's only got 67,000 original miles. Get this thing off my lot, 1,950 bucks. 1950 bucks. What a deal. No full review on this one either. 67 Wagoneer. Clean, not all rusty. I've showed it in a few walk arounds. A little bit of rust in the backs on both sides where it's going to obviously get it in these cars, trucks, whatever you want to call it. Clean. Nice 67 vintage Wagoneer. 327 oil bath air cleaner and everything. Runs great. Patina on the top. I want to paint this one too. Look at all the chrome trim and stuff. It's in beautiful shape. Needs tires. Get this one off my lot. Um, take 1950 bucks. Another Seville. Dent in the back. Flat tire. Um, actually I've got the spare and they're Michelin's. And they're almost new tread. Interior is beautiful. Not a lot of miles, it's a good runner. Um, 
It's just set here. It is just set here. And it's not as... This here has got faded clear coat. It's not as messed up on this piece like the other one is. It's not all rusted out, but it's starting a little. They all do it around this Vogue top. Great cars to restore. I hate to be the one to tear this apart. Um, this one here gave me 1200 bucks, and it's gone. Out of state. The limo, haven't done nothing with it. Want to get rid of it. Um, 1850 bucks. Get it gone. I'll take 1850 The Catalina 455, full review on my channel. And runs and drives great. I believe this is a one or two owner. I believe it's a one. Um, beautiful car. Get it out of here. I take 3800 bucks. 455. Econoline van I have not even listed yet. Um, YouTube special. You're gonna see it for a lot more on my site and everything. 2500 bucks. Full review on my channel. The dark convertible, me and my dad bought that to redo. Um, it's for sale. I'd have to look it up. It's cheap. Everything's cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Plymouth Satellite, four-door, one owner. Got some damage on the side. Full review on my channel. Um, this is a nice car. It's in great shape. I got all kinds of receipts with it. You can see a lot of them. Um, I'll take 1300 bucks. And V8, 360. The Wildcat sold, gone, and it makes me sad. The RX-7, I'm waiting on a power steering pump. Leather, five-speed. GSLSX or whatever they call it. What is it? GSLSE. Don't know on a price. You could call me. I don't. I'm not that far along on it. Turbo 300D in an 87. Get this thing out of here. 3,500 bucks. It's in great shape. 136 thousand on it. Has not had the trap oxidizer recall done. 136 nine. So you get a new exhaust system and everything with that. Someone ganked my thing. Walked by the front of the lot and ganked that right off there. Doesn't that suck? You can buy them on eBay for 15, 20 bucks. Punks. <sighs> okay, that pisses me off. Saab Sonnet, very rare car. Full review on my channel. If you want something to just put back, it's just gonna go through the roof in value. There you go. Get this car for me. Get it out of here. I can't even believe I'm saying this. 1450 bucks needs a fuel pump this is sold this one 180 or so on an SD it's rather clean um, the interior is beautiful I, I don't want to part it but I'm probably going to um, if you want this thing I'll take 950 bucks um, it's a 300 SD it's in great shape don't have a key for the ignition but it ran so that's sold the 57 220s Nice car, updated with a 300E motor from like the mid 90s, early 90s. Um, it's in great shape, in and out. Um, I will probably be getting a full review done on this one and listing it. If you want it before I list it, I'll take 12 grand. Um, and that's that. The Volvo, gotta get the key cut, gotta get the key cut. And I've had all kinds of people ask me on this, and I've been holding off on this. I finally got the key. But I don't have it cut yet. Manual. Cool little car. Wood wheel. Um, and on this one, you want it? I'll take um, 3800 The Volvo, or Volvo, the Peugeot. Dent in the front. I want to paint this one. Runs great. Amazing in and out. I've had it for a while. I won't just give it away, but this price, I'm going to say right now, I can't even believe. 92,000 original miles, one owner, and the guy, the guy hardly drove it, look at this, amazing, um, clean in and out, front and back, wood flooring in the back, Woo, buddy, this car here, get it gone, 2,800 bucks, 2,800 bucks, sold, going to parts, Gonna have a full review of the Shasta up very soon. Um, this here, Delta 88, will have a full review up soon. Convertible. The window in the back's bad. Sunbird LE. I haven't done anything to this. Really low miles. Really clean in the back and front and all the seats. Um, I believe the top of the back seats had a couple cracks in it. Was it ever miles? 72. And. Your headliner's got a couple tears in the 
stuff came off them, but the headliner's in pretty good shape. Nice car, haven't even detailed it out or nothing. Low miles, these things run like mad, man. A little bit of problem on the clear coat, on top surfaces. On this one here, <laughs> before I touch it, man, uh, I'll take um, 1650 bucks. I just want it out of here. 450 SEL, beautiful car. It's in great shape. Um, seats are a little, the back seat's actually in good shape except for the top of it. So you see the top is a little tour up there. The backs of the fronts are in great shape. The car drives great. Full review on my channel. You can get that piece right there fixed pretty cheaply. Um, this car, great car, tight car. Um, get it out of here. Twelve hundred fifty bucks, and it's a great runner. Um, Thirteen fifty if you want them lights. I'm sorry, but that's the way it goes. That's sold. This here I'll take twenty five hundred bucks for. I got to take interior pictures today at some point. Yeah, it's nice inside and everything. Um, this here wagon, I'll have a full review up soon. 16,000 original miles, very clean. If you're interested in it, I can get a price, but I don't have it on that one. Um, I'll show you the Rover in a sec. 200 SX, nice little car, clear coat's a little faded and such. Um, interior is a little messy on the door panels. The sun ate this piece up pretty bad. It needs to be recovered. However, the seats are in great shape. Well cared for. One or two owner. Sunroof and all. Um, lower miles. 73. Um, 1500 bucks for this car. Um, actually, before I do anything to it, 1350 Just get it gone. Super rare little car. Um, and for export. Well, Range Rover County, beautiful truck, needs a fuel pump, and something's up with the tranny. I'm gonna sell it as is. It's in great shape, 123, 121. I'm close on some of these. Um, get this thing before I list it here in the next few days. Um, I'll take 2900 bucks. Okay, I think I got most of this lot. I didn't say much about the Shasta. That 300E, there's a full review on my channel. Um, the 500SL, there's not. It's an 85, I believe, Euro edition. Um, interior is not the best. That's going to get fixed up. Now, timing constraints. I don't know what I'm going to do. Low mile, 79,000 on it. Um, I'll take 12 grand for it. Uh, very rare car. The 300E, check out the full review. This is one of the nicest 300Es. Um, YouTube special just for YouTube. You're going to see it on eBay for a lot more. I'll take 3850 bucks. Just a quick sale, man. Okay, so that's a walk around of that. Now I'm going to go back here. Might as well just show the last spot of this. Chinook Concours. Beautiful motorhome. Nice one-piece fiberglass. As you can see, you've got a little problem down here on the doors and up around the cab. They've kind of put all kinds of stuff on it to plug it up. Same thing starting across the front of the hood. However, believe it or not, it's clean as can be underneath and just not rusty. And this, the beauty is the one piece fiberglass and not only that, the um, the interior setup of these is awesome. Little handle there, See, it's cool stuff. They put this on it to cover up the shag carpet. Uh, nice, nice RV. Clean everywhere, shower in. Ha, <laughs> I wanted to say something there. Oh, we found it, cool stuff. This is a in-counter blender there. Pretty cool. Cup holders in the table. Got all the manuals for it and stuff. These are neat. The Chinook is a good machine. Oh, this pulls out. You can sleep someone up there. Yeah. Cool stuff. 
seats are nice in the front it's a good rig and this is a camper special uh, with a big old 400 or 460 in it ah, this fellow well that's your walk around here little closet I don't even know if I've been in there I could actually get in there huh one owner car guy.com lots of cool unique one and two owner cars trucks SUVs there's an actual generator in here Um, I've showed you this one. Oh, on this Chinook Concourse. Um, man, it's cheap. It's just so cheap. $2,600. Um, and I just replaced the cab. That's what I'd do. I'd replace the cab. Um, International. Uh, Scout 2 XL. Nice. Clean, clean seams. Interior's a bit worn. But this thing across the dash and everything even nice just nice Look at the door panels it's for sale also oh doors are tight uh s600 here this is a nice car peanut butter interior this one will be up in a while god that's beautiful um diesel ford econoline old u-haul truck original 130 or 150,000 miles on it good runner diesel um you want to van box or box van thing here um, it's a stretch cab too I'll sell this one here I've been using it for storage and hauling stuff downstairs and actually had them put something on this what did I have him put on here I don't know no I'm gonna have to ask him what I had put in here I actually had the motor replaced on this one Cool tight truck. Um, come and get it. 3800 bucks. A lot less than what I'll have it on the internet for. Continental. Nice car. I brought it back here to maybe paint it. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I'd like to sell it as it is. Show you them on the way out. The Grand Prix Custom. Or the Grand Prix Pontiac. It's in good shape. It's not rusty anywhere except for on the hood. I love them wheels. See all your fender wells and stuff, it's all clean. That! I don't know why. Love that hood ornament though. So that's that. Lexus, I will sell this so cheap it's pitiful. Out of state, it needs a catalytic converter. <laughs> uh, this car, um, man, take 13 or 50 bucks. On the Lexus LS400 here, with the gold package, ah, uh, 2950 bucks. Callaway Range Rover. It's got a couple issues that I'm replacing stuff on. So I don't have it up for sale yet. But it, it is for sale if you are interested in a Callaway. They only made a couple hundred of them. Shops here, of course, if you've been around my walk around before. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Got a W140 in here. It's down to bare metal almost. We're going to repaint the whole car. I hate the clear coat on these gold colors. It just never seems to hold up. It's the only color that does that, really, too. And that's all we got in here right now. Kind of in the moving process. New paint on the Volvo 242 Coupe. Beautiful car. Seventy-eight with hundred and eleven on it. Car's barely broke in, man. Old El Dorado, make you a deal on this. Runs and drives and all. The only real rust is down the bottoms here. And along the front of the hood. There's a little bit somewhere. Oh, right there. And that's really the worst of it, is in front areas where the water gets trapped in there. Another S500. Got a few of these. 
It's a good car. Bad transmission. 300E, I haven't done anything to it. I was gonna paint the top. I'll sell it just to make a deal to somebody. It's a manual. Super ultra, ultra rare. 145 on it. Nice, good mild car. And sporty and cool as can be to drive with that manual. Uh, needs a grill. Well, don't need it, but you know. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. I haven't decided what to do to this car. So I'll sell it, and I'll sell it cheap. Okay, well, that is pretty much the walk around of the lot. And like I say, oh, oh there goes the trolley. I'll always be doing cars, but this main lot right here is what I'm moving out of. And it's a lot of cars to move and get rid of. That's for sure. Um, with that in mind, I've got a couple paint here that's going up to go on that there motorhome. So we'll see how that turns out. My name is Nathan. It's 406-642-9602 or 544 6919. Look how clean them wheels are. And man, I can't think of anything else to show you, tell you about. Um, I'll walk inside for the another thing here and kind of show you what I'm thinking inside here. Another one coming apart. Old W108. Uh, that Mercedes there is for sale. I've been driving it around. It's only got 72,000 on a V8. Beaglespocket.com. Brickland. For sale also. Hi, baby. Little loyal hound dog. You sad? Everybody's gone. Nobody's paying attention. You can do tricks. Good girl. Uh, this is the seat work I was talking about earlier. Uh, this is a S320 and a 97. It's a one owner. He did that seat and that seat. Beautiful car. Um, YouTube special on this one. I'll take um, 4,800 bucks. It's a nice, nice 320. El Dorado. And this one here, YouTube special. If you're looking for a old 46 Ford Super Deluxe, um, right here, 8,800 bucks. YouTube only. Haven't even advertised it. 36,000 mile Trans Am YouTube special, and 9,500 bucks. Cheap, tight car. Uh, Mercur. This one I told you when I was up top. YouTube special, 2,900 bucks. Sweet car, 94,000 original miles. This is one nice car, that's all there is to it. It's in great shape. A little Celica with the new paint, five speed GT. Um, that one, get it out of here. I take YouTube special here again, 3,500 bucks. If you want the hot air balloon with the burners and everything, I'm selling that. The paraglider, I'm not gonna wanna store it outdoors. Come get my paraglider. I'll make you a deal on it. Quite a motor and everything on it. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Don't know how I'll clip all this together, if there'll be something on the end of it or what, but that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are.